So I wanted to come into my craft room and work on my smash book and I wanted to share a victory that I had this week. I was working on a page, which I'll show you in a few minutes, and it was one that is basically just a bunch of motivation quotes um, that I found. Um, I've kind of had a rough couple of days because you know that time hop app that goes back on your Facebook? Well, ever since New Year's Day, everything that keeps popping up in that time hop is how many times I've done the I'm going to get healthy, I'm watching what I eat, I'm exercising, I, you know, I've lost weight. Year after year after year. And yet, this year, I'm starting at what is just a few pounds shy of the heaviest I've ever been. And that got really, really frustrating. Because I realized, you know, I just keep doing this over and over again. So I got mad. Um, I got frustrated. And I went on a rage through Pinterest and Google Image looking for motivations, don't give up, and, um, you know, basically things that would, you know, help release what I was feeling about, you know, realizing how many times I've done this. So I was working on the page, and that morning that I was working on the page, I had skipped walking my dogs. You know, I woke up, I had some excuses, I didn't feel that great, it was really cold outside. I live in Florida, so I'm kind of a wimp when the temperature drops below 60. And I didn't walk the dogs. And I'm sitting at my desk, my craft desk, working on this page, reading these motivations, and I just sat there and went, you're doing it. You didn't walk the dogs this morning for no good reason. So right then and there, in the middle of the day, I went, I got up, I put my shoes and socks on, I grabbed my dogs, and I went for our walk. I was so proud of myself because typically if I can convince myself to skip a walk, that's it for the day. I'm not going to do it. Um, so having the smash book to reference back to, to work on, to take quotes and put them in there and work on this this piece of art that I'm creating that helps keep me on track. It's working. It's keeping my mind in the game. And for it to turn me that day to say, stop what you're doing right now and go walk the dogs um, was it just an awesome victory for me. So I was really excited and wanted to share that. I do have a few pages to show you. Um, before I switch camera angles, though, I just want to show you this update, my 30-day monthly challenge where I'm doing the um, squats and the bridges. And I'm doing a certain amount each day in the app that I'm using, which is just called 30 Days. Um, it increases the number of reps that I have to do. And I only had a few days um, but look how far I am now. I'm almost halfway through the month. And I keep coming up with different ways to mark the day that I've done. So I'm really proud of that. Um, I One of the days I actually had to do my exercises at 10 o'clock at night. Which for me, that's not even, it's just unheard of. Um, typically 10 o'clock at night, I'm already asleep. Let alone able to move around like that. But I just... I was so determined not to miss a day. I did have a mess up this past week that I rested on the wrong day and it was just truly by accident. I thought that was supposed to be my rest day and it wasn't until the next morning that I went to go see how many reps I had to do that day that I realized I rested a day early. So all I did is just switch those two days. So I'm counting that as a win as well. So um, I'll swap camera angles and show you a few more pages that I've been working on. 
So I did add, I just wanted to show, I added this. Isn't this awesome? This was actually in some junk mail, and I cut it off of a flyer. Uh, it says learn by doing. So I added that to my kettlebell page. I thought that was appropriate. So um, this is um, another page that I completed. This is showing, obviously, my breakfast items. So I just um, put in a recipe for a banana smoothie, a breakfast smoothie that I do. Um, I put a little oatmeal and what I add into it. Um, some breakfast cookie pictures, a little sock monkey there guy, and uh, some scrambled eggs. And then this um, graphic was just on the page of the Smashbook. So I just filled it out and had a little fun with it and uh, enjoyed myself there. So that's another page that I did. And then I made this chart. Don't you like how obvious I am? Chart. Um, and what I did is I took my current weight and the first of each month put what my weight would be if I made my target of five pounds per month for the next six months. I made a little label for it and said, okay, this is my six month chart so I could keep coming back to it. So the first of each month, what I'll do is I will have to write in what my actual weight is, whether I was on target, um, better than target or worse than target. Um, and then this page, I just, oops, that's real good. Then this page so far, because I don't really want to cover that sheep up. I'm not sure why, because he's sort of odd. Um, but I liked this one. Good things happen to those that hustle, because that's what this is going to take is some good hustle. So got a little bit more work to do on that page yet. And then this is the motivation page that I was working on when I decided to get off my butt and go walk my dogs. So up at the top it said, um, today was, and I put tough. And this is the one that really hit me because, you know, if you're tired of starting over, then stop giving up. And that's what had happened. I kept giving up. I would make progress and then I would give up. And then I said, but, and you can see that quote, you know, today's a new day. So even as frustrated as, a, as I was, I needed to get over it. Um, and then there are just some other things. This is um, a cute one. A little letter to yourself and your body. About sorry for not taking care of it. <laughs> That's why I did a little heart because, you know, showing love to our body. We're going to take care of it now. And uh, that, I fussy cut this out of a... Uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scrapbook papers ever that has these awesome cherry blossoms on it that I just love that paper. I'm so scared when I'm going to run out of it. Um, but I cut it out and just to put on there. So that was a good motivation page. Um, I think that's all I have so far. Yeah. So I did just uh, print off some more to work on this evening for a little bit and uh, get some more motivation going. So never, ever give up. Keep on trying. Never quit quitting. Just like when you're trying to quit smoking. Never quit quitting. I'm never going to stop trying. But this time, this time, I will be successful. Take care.